Hey Digi fans! I'm so glad that you could join me again today and this time I'm going to show you some basic features of MDS. So these videos are going to be kind of short and sweet but they're really going to be basic because these are the main questions that I always have when I hear that people want to get started with my digital studio. So uh, first let me say I think this is a fascinating program because it's so user friendly so don't be scared of it I was for almost over a year I had the program I had it loaded and I I rarely touched it and it was more from personal um, fear of screwing it up but I'm here to tell you relax because you really can't screw it up so let's start by just opening the program when you open the program you're brought to a page like this that says new project options and from here you can do a multitude of things from creating a your just individual scrapbook layouts or creating a photo book calendar we have a, a ton of designer templates you have cards and tags that you can create you even have journals and one of the best options I think now is the custom and that's creating Facebook timelines, uh, creating just small little tags that you want custom sized. Um, really, uh, the, the list is never ending in the custom option. So let's open up uh, a photo book and individual pages because this is where I tend to go most of the time. Um, I love working with all different sizes of the albums, but uh, I'm currently working on some 12 by 12 albums. Okay, so I would press the 12 by 12 square, uh, square. It brings you here to designer, photo only, or create your own. And my advice is when you're first starting out, go ahead and hit designer. And right now it's going to build up uh, or bring up all my designer templates that I have. And once I find those, it's going to tell me what's in them. So I have the 25 and counting. Uh, actually, I have quite a few in here. These are uh, pages, and then these are some of these are photo books. So I have family fun, uh, fanfare. Um, this is just a 12 by 12 page template. Um, so I tend to like to do, I love the templates, but if I'm going to do a quick book, I'm just going to click this and I'm going to hit next. This is just a preview of that front and it brings me up to this where I have all the pages to do my book. Literally, this is a drag and drop and down here I can switch out the page arrangement. I can also do that later so I'm just going to go ahead and hit next. I like to pick and click to insert my photos instead of having them autofill but if you really want to make a fast album, do that. We're just going to call this one, uh, I'm going to call it Kimberly's Family Fun. I know where my location is going, and that typically will automatically do it. I just know that it's going into um, my documents, into my digital studio projects. I'm going to click Finish, and now it's going to build the page or all the pages typically in the templates you have about 25 pages that 24 25 pages that are um, already done for you including the front and the back of the book um, we have a, a lot of great photo book templates that you can choose from and again if you're looking to make a fast book within hours this is a great uh, way to do that so we're just going to wait for that to load real quick. It only takes a minute. It seems like forever when we're sitting here looking at the blue screen going forward. All right, so it's saving it, and now it's going to open it. And down at the bottom, it says back and front. So this is the back of my book. And they have this uh, area here where it says barcode. Um, I'm not sure if that actually stays on there uh, 
or not. But I can customize the back of the book. I can say created by Kimberly Van Diepen by adding text, by going up here and adding text. The front of the book, it's super cute. I can even come in here and add 2012 text. So if even if you uh, didn't like that, you can that color, you could change the color on this. So again, it's already done for you, but you can actually manipulate it to make it yours. All right, let me show you how fun and easy this is. And I really love this page um, because it's just cute. So over on the left side, I have my uh, resource palette photos, embellishments, stamps, and we'll go over those in some of these videos. Drag and drop. Poof! It's in there. And then we're going to add one more. I'm going to click and drag and drop. Now, you see my poor Brandon's head's cut off. So I'm going to double click on that and I can fix this, move it to where I want to place it. Isn't that a cute face? <laughs> he had an attitude that day. All right, over here, if I double click on the text, it's highlighted and I can highlight all of it. I like to delete it. And then I can start my own thing. And over here, we can change the font. Let's start that off. Oh, we can't read that because it's too small. So we'll change the size. This is the day Brandon had a bad attitude. And that's it. I'm just going to go through this entire album, drag and drop, drag and drop. That's what I think you should start off with first. It's easy. It gets you familiar with the side panels, the top panel, and the, um, the left side panel. Once you're familiarized with all those things, click on them, play with them. You're not going to hurt it. All right, I'll see you at the next one.